What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Real Nut Williams from the Outlet Podcast. Scratch some latest the bullshit in the coders. AKA Platinum with No Features. AKA Like, Share, and Subscribe to the Ill Alive. So, I'm watching OJ Duke Jackson's channel earlier. And apparently, this is like a little old thing, but it, it kind of made me think about something that I not too long ago went through or what I deal with with being a father, you know. Basically, like it was a basketball player. I think his name was Zion Williamson or something. And the kid went on, you know, national TV, I guess, when he got signed to a team and gave all his credit to his mother. And old shit, dude, Jax was pretty much just like, that's bullshit because his stepfather was the one there taking him to all the games and the practices and all the other shit, which happens a lot. So I'm going to call this one dad credit. Now, me and my dad are at a point where we have a great relationship. It wasn't always like that, but we're good now. I'm 30. He's what, 55? We're good now. And to be honest with you, I understand a lot of the choices that he made at this point in my life. You know, even when it comes down to my own kid, he always has this phrase that he tells me. He's like, one good dad don't equal up the 10 bad mamas. And it's fucked up that it's like that, but it's really like that. I'm telling you, niggas don't get enough credit for trying to do right. And I'm not saying this about me per se, but it's just, I say that because I always get on Facebook, I see stepdaddy season and, you know, all this shit about helping the chick with kids. And I'm not knocking it. I'm going to see if I can zoom this camera up. All right. Um, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Half this love that y'all showing for like trying to be a nigga, you know, a chick stepmom, uh, stepdaddy, it's some fake ass shit. And I've always said that it's some fake ass shit. A lot of these niggas is being stepdaddies for one fucking reason, for some pussy. That's it. That's it. That's all. A lot of them niggas is not really fucking with your kids like that. Them niggas just want to fuck. That's the only thing they care about. And it's sad that niggas will go to that extent for some ass. Really, though. Really, though. Like, all this dad stuff, like, the, the, the whole rent, it just makes me think about everything I've gone through with my dad. Like, I'm actually a step-parent myself, believe it or not. Got it right here on my arm. You know what I'm saying? You might not be able to see it, but my baby mama has a son. And I do what I can to look after him. But recently, as a super recent, within like the last two months, the drama with her and her family has gotten so bad to the point where I don't even go down there no more. I got a bat in my trunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying anything negative. I'm just being honest with you. The shit done got so stupid to where it's like I got to constantly, like I got to start like going out of motherfucker with a weapon. And it's almost to the point where it's like, Is being a, I want to say being a parent worth it, but it's like, at what point do you stop yourself from overdoing what you're doing? Because there's a, there's a fine line between trying to be a parent and trying to help somebody and being plain fucking stupid. And I've been both. And, you know, the last couple of times I've gone to pick my dad up from Alabama and shit, you know, because he don't have a car, you know, for whatever reason. And he, me and him pretty much do the same type of work, like, in a sense. Like, he's in the union, I'm in the union. I didn't start out in the union. I went to the Navy and all the other shit, but I'm in the union now. But he, he's been doing that shit for 40 years. And I wonder to myself if he had these same type of thoughts, these same type of things that he goes through, because, like, it's crazy, like, the conversations me and my dad have now and the conversations me and him used to have when we was, I was 18, 20. As a dad, it's almost like you ain't going to really expect a whole lot of credit. It's not hard. It's, it's not hard being a dad, but at the same time, it's really one side of trying to be a dad, a good one. Because you trying to be a good father, you not, a lot of times you're not going to get no credit. That's the shit that always used to piss me off about it. Like, Motherfuckers barely want to say thank you. <laughs> like, 
I just find it to be one-sided. To be honest with you, to be blunt with you, a lot of these chicks ain't gonna give y'all credit. You you being a being a dad slash stepdad, a real stepdad, is a thankless ass job. A lot of these chicks is not gonna give you credit until you either staying in the home with them and paying bills or doing that shit you know, doing the shit directly. You know what I'm saying? Whether you around the corner. I don't stay around the corner for my kids. They're like 40, 50 minutes from me. Which ain't really far. But considering everything that's going on right now, it's like do you let yourself indulge in the drama behind trying to be a parent or do you back away from the whole thing? Because I'll tell you bluntly, I've had issues upon issues upon issues upon issues with motherfuckers from Wayne County behind the same person. Behind the same old stupid shit. Like, it's always some old retarded shit. Now, as of like lately, it ain't been like that super recent, like in the past two weeks. It's a lot of stuff done quiet down. I got my arm broken over that type of shit. The same, like drama, like motherfuckers in Southeast Georgia are about drama. Niggas down here ain't trying to be shit. They're trying to pretend to be some shit. And it just makes me think to myself, did my dad go through this same shit when I was a kid? Because he told me one time that, you know, he tells me stories. Now, you know, immediately a lot of shit that he said to me you know, he says it's his own fault. He's openly admitted to it. You know what I'm saying? But I remember being 18, like, yo, fuck you, and you ain't never here for us, and this, that, the third, and man, you'll never help me with shit. I, I used to have a riff with my father. Me and my, uh, me and my dad are like this now. You know what I'm saying? Because for one, I've actually had to walk a mile in the shoes. But trying to be a good dad, trying to be a dad is a hard-ass job. Being a mom is hard, is hard, but at least as a mom, you get your motherfucking credit, Motherfuckers support you. You know what I'm saying? You get all this fucking government assistance and shit. Listen. If I was a female and I broke my arm, I can at least get child support and motherfucking food stamps. When you a grown ass man, motherfuckers expect you to take care of them and take care of yourself at the same time. It don't. Listen, I can have a bullet wound in my stomach right now, be on a hospital bed, and motherfuckers will, will still expect you to help them. That's just how one-sided being a dad is. I got a cousin right now that's raising a girl's, you know, who's with a girl that got five kids. Shout out to that nigga. That nigga's a goat for real, for real, when it comes to his dad shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying being a dad is a thankless job. Like, I'm telling you, this shit is one-sided than a motherfucker. I mean, for good niggas. A lot of you dads out here ain't shit for real. And fuck you bitch ass niggas trying to step dad for some pussy. That shit lame as shit. I've always thought it's lame as fuck. But again, with a lot of shit that goes on nowadays with these niggas, a lot of you bitches co-sign. If niggas knew they couldn't get no pussy from drug dealing, they wouldn't do it. If niggas knew they can get more pussy from doing 9 to 5 shit and building some shit, they would do more of that shit. But because doing bullshit is what gets most of the hoes, you know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna do that. I've always felt that way. I always felt like men in America don't get the, the credit they deserve. Like, we live in a society now that praises female. Call it what you want. Call it what you want. But niggas that try to do right don't get enough credit. Do not get enough credit. A part of me is glad me and my child's mother don't stay in the same city. Because it would always be some shit like I'm telling you and I'm just really putting a lot of this stuff out here. That, you know how many times her mother has tried to push her off on me because we ain't been together because she stayed with her now? You know what I'm saying? I'm not speaking ill of her but I'm just saying like I must be doing something right for that to work. And I'm not speaking from an angry place. I'm just saying like I remember you know I, I just think to myself like a lot of these chicks feel like because they have the child more often that they're the better parent. I'm not speaking about me specifically. I'm just saying I see that in a pattern a lot where it's like, oh, you ain't never there for my baby. Listen, what good is a nigga to you if he can't take care of himself? I see this shit a hundred times over where a bitch will get mad at a nigga for not giving him, giving her a certain amount of money when a nigga got his own car payment, own apartment, own lifestyle to live. 
I'm supposed to help maintain you, maintain myself, and maintain the kids all while I have you want to work some half-ass job. Listen, I got a sister that gets her own money for real, for real. And didn't have no nigga to do it there for her. That raises my nephew and my niece. So I, if there's one thing I get from my sister, to be honest with you, is this: I don't let bitches tell me excuses on stupid shit no more. Because I think to myself, if she can do it, the rest of these hoes can do it. Side note, I'm just saying, my sister does a lot of shit by her fucking self and doesn't get the credit that she deserves for the shit she does on her own. And you think I'm going to let some half-ass chicken head with motherfucking ratchet ass tattoos and a motherfucking and, and, and missing edges tell me that she can't get a hold of no money? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm telling you, being a dad is one sided than a bitch. I often feel that way. I feel like that's what me and my stepchild are going to go through a lot of times. And I'm just putting it here just to, you know, just to have a reason to say it or whatever the case may be. Because. I remember what it was like when I was 18 and I was mad at my dad. I used to be, I used to hate my dad, man. I, I'm telling you, me and my dad used to have a, but he did a lot of fuck, he, he did a lot of fuckhead shit. You know what I'm saying? My dad did a lot of bullshit. We went through a lot of shit in that house that didn't have to happen. You know what I'm saying? But every chance I get, you know, me and him talk, whatever, we don't see eye to eye on everything, but we see the eye to, we see eye, to eye on a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I tell you what, man, trying to be a, I think what went wrong with him in his life when I think about it, look back at it I think he really tried to do right but it was a lot of things that happened to him that made him kind of go to the left a little bit I'm telling you it is tough trying to be the support of others and support yourself while these same people are asking for your support at the same time like bitches really do put a lot on niggas I mean good niggas like it's crazy like that's why I try to be a little bit ain't shit you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I make sure I keep a little bit of ain't shit nigga with me. Because if you too good, motherfuckers going to use the shit out of you. And I have literally been through that myself where a motherfucker will sit there and depend on you completely because you got your shit together. Just because somebody got their shit together and can help you and, you know, they decide to be in your life and everything. Don't mean you just drain them to the bottom. Like, it's one of the reasons why I won't move in with a girl with no kids. One, that's baby daddy drama. You know what I'm saying? Two, I got to take care of your kids. Three, I got to take care of my kids. Four, I got to take care of myself. Five, I got to take care of you. I'm one nigga. And I'm smart enough to know, after six months of not working out, I'm not finna get up under a bench press and try to push 350. No, nigga, you stupid. You're one fucking person. And I just feel like niggas don't get their credit for doing what they try to do. I'm telling you, like, a broken arm has really made me realize a lot of shit about life. And, you know, looking back at it, you know, I was mad about it at first. I was really angry about the shit at first. But you know what? I wouldn't have got the point across any other way how motherfuckers really were. You know what I'm saying? I was overstepping my boundaries as a father. <laughs> and, then, you know, usually I'm not saying there's no such thing. But, you know, a lot of times as you end up dealing with a family or some people that really want to bring some fuck shit into your life and shit. Listen, I got a clean jail record. Straight up. All right. I have a clean jail record. I've never e even been in the back of a police car. But I'm telling you, the wrong bitch will make you take it though. The wrong chick will make you take it though. It'll, it'll, you, man, fucking with the wrong girl and trying to be a stepdaddy or a daddy to the wrong, uh, you know, the kids or whatever when the mother is fucked up or whatever the case may be. Again, not taking no shots here, all right? Motherfuckers be honest thing. I'm trying to sneak this my baby mama and that's not what this is. I'm just saying in general, I see niggas go through that where they be trying to really real deal be parents and be fathers, but they be dealing with a bitch that's so screwed up that it's like, well, I can't even really get to my kids in a way. I'm talking about niggas got to come over your house with police escort and shit. 
gotta have motherfucking um a custody order and shit. All kinds of stupid shit that happens because you just trying to do right as a dad. And I just think to myself, like, I'm pretty sure my dad went through a lot of this shit. My my dad told me that my mama shot his truck up one time. Now admittedly my dad ain't shit. But at the same time, it's like I think in the grand scheme of things, looking back at it, I think he really did try. I just think it might have been too much for him. Like, you you got some people that ain't really just naturally good at shit. Like, okay, when I was younger, I used to give all the credit to my mom. And I love my mother, really do. Love her to death. But the older I get, the more I gravitate toward my father because I'm more like him, in a sense. I don't know. I just be thinking this shit, man. And I just... I just want my dad to know. Or any fathers out there to know that you're doing the best that you can. Don't let these hoes talk bad about you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these females feel like you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing or whatever the case be. I mean the good niggas that's trying. You know what I'm saying? Just because a mother has more leverage in court or with the police and shit. I'm telling you, chicks will take you through bullshit. Through some straight bullshit. You niggas is doing good, man. But this has been Run Up Wins for the Outlet Podcast. I just really wanted to get all that off my chest.